our own stories should not be negative so my request to those who are migrating of course they're leaving the country because of their bad experiences or they did not have the opportunities or things were not in their favor and that's fine assalamu alaikum viewers uh, welcome to another uh, edition of uh, matrix uh, media special special guests and uh, today we have a very special guest very active one settled in canada have been living there for quite some time but now she is in pakistan visiting the length and breadth of this country after 20 years and she's very active canadian pakistani and uh, a consultant advisor on women entrepreneurship as well as female empowerment as to how to guide girls females on charting their own career path so that's a real contribution she's also acknowledged as a transformational change management this is something that i've been struggling with to understand what is this let's ask uh, naila kazi yeah thank you what so much this, what is this transformational change management yeah i know so <laughs> thank you so much i think i really feel privileged to be here uh, thanks for the opportunity and so when we talk about transformation we talk about uh, change right and when it start it starts with how you change yourself so transformational leadership or transformation of any kind is a change which we wants to bring right so from personal to behaviors to personal skills or personal beliefs to big organizations communities and countries when we want to bring any change then transformational people like me they are kind of the at the forefront and that's how i do like as my job like work wise i'm a change manager or transformational lead on many initiatives but on personal level i think uh, i change my life and uh, i help people how to change and transform their lives as well just to simplify it okay so you are in pakistan yeah. on a change mission what is the mission actually you know you've been here now after 20 years yeah so yeah no, it's it's great to coming back and um, we came here for national idea bank is an initiative jo which our president really takes a lot of interest in it um and the initiative was to take our startups um young people who are running entrepreneur entrepreneur entrepreneurial um different initiatives take them from smaller cities take them from areas where they don't have access to lots of coaching mentoring advice financial resources and then take them to a level where they could not only make a difference at national level but also at the global level so that initiative took almost like 2000 um, young people uh, both girls and boys and now on 24th of jan we celebrated the 18th finalists and Uh, our president came and they gave them some financial resources but also now we are planning to take them uh, to the global level to where they can have their dream realized and have their product kind of make a difference in the communities and societies and and overall benefit from pakistan and who is doing this why would somebody uh, yeah, sitting in canada will be supporting such an initiative in pakistan yeah very good question and i i didn't want it to just go there straight because i'm not selling something here I, it's uh, it's no but obviously very, we sell uh, ideas we yeah. s- we try to in a way we sell ideas we yeah. sell intellect yeah so it's a, it's a group of experts mainly from uk middle east um, and north america and uh, majority of uh, tech successful pakistanis mashallah they're very very successful in their areas some men and women i was fortunate to be part of that group joined that group and uh, one of our projects was nib so we're running several um, initiatives and one of those is nib which is national idea bank and um, yeah i could have been here earlier because i've been part of this group for almost now 2 years but this was the occasion i actually came and i think uh, we made great success by taking those 18 um, young businesses and now we scaling them up to the global level mm-hmm. under aspire mm-hmm. how do we expect uh, to take it forward do you think the aspirations the the desire that is behind this initiative will stay alive uh, allow alive enough to motivate all these diaspora the pakistani canadians pakistani americans to continue supporting such initiatives yeah so 
these people join in not for any internal motive for example like they all wanted to make a difference and these are all very very successful people at a level in their life where you really want to leave a legacy right one of our our colleagues our peers say that i don't want to die empty <laughs> and i think um, we are going to an age all of us like we early on we struggled and we went abroad and we tried to settle ourselves but we now are at a stage where i think our cup is kind of full and now it's overflowing and now we think we need to go back leave that legacy for our country so in terms of the spirit would die down i doubt i think it's really increasing we are increasing our members as well as our time commitment to these um, uh, talented youth uh, and we also our dreams are becoming bigger as well and we realizing there are more opportunities as well so that aspire family is here we were here all in december we are here all in january at our own cost we are spending money just to make a difference within our society so i think that there is a great motivation and i think it's abundant so i don't see that the motivation will die down or we would leave the cause there mm -hmm. this shows uh, the diaspora whether it's in america or in canada or elsewhere they have a very strong desire of engaging with the country that uh, mm -hmm. uh, they belong to does this is this a true spirit that you think as you also said it is likely to continue but staying so far away from the country still mentally probably in pakistan will this contribution continue and be able to bring any change to pakistan yeah so uh, no change anywhere in the world in history happens um, overnight right so every change is incremental it it takes a while i think and change has several stages as well like this is the awareness kind of building stage where we are um, yes i agree like being really away from the country is is a big barrier and some people are trying to bridge that barrier people like me we did not have many opportunities to come but somehow technology has made it possible like even like through calls through virtual meetings i have been in touch with many entrepreneur women women for past like 2 years so it has become kind of a uh, little family i have my own little group which is called reach and and that reach has become like a family of business women and that is the reason i am actually here to really meet with those women so i know and i agree and i acknowledge that distance is an issue distance is a barrier but it doesn't stop you to make that change right so that change we doing through coaching we doing through mentoring we really making people leading um to become leader themselves and and really trying to uh, connect with people using any platform which is possible so yes to one extent yes distance is a barrier but at the other hand if we not outside we don't have the exposure right so that gift of exposure is only coming to our country because we are outside of this country right so it's kind of parallel like glove and hand kind of relationship that you have to be outside of pakistan to really see what the world is doing so you could bring it back to pakistan so what i would say if there is openness in our culture then there's so much to learn is so much that we could contribute mm -hmm. there's uh, a lot about pakistan inside pakistan but there's another side to it the other side is pakistan's perceptions in the world where you live now all these pakistanis whether pakistani americans pakistani canadians or those living in in europe they have all the good intentions of help in pakistan how can they help pakistan how can they help in improving the perception of pakistan in areas where they're living yeah it's a fundamental question very very close to my heart and thank you so much for asking me that question so i think the bad rap which we get and the bad marketing and in the world what we get uh, my personal experience is a lot is contributed by pakistanis themselves uh, especially like very recently i've met few families who drew a picture that my my family my husband my kids never wanted me to visit pakistan they were very very afraid of my security and i also went to peshawar i also went to those northern areas to certain educational institutions and my own perception was something is going to happen to me and i it was actually to the, to the contrary like it is it is normal <laughs> everyone should come and everyone should let their mothers and their wives to come visit pakistan it's none of that was true so i would say that at the one side uh, politically or at at a level which you and i cannot solve at that level the we need to bring pride in ourselves being pakistani so on one hand we have to do it on the other hand 
our own story should not be negative so my request to those who are migrating of course they're leaving the country because of their bad experiences or they did not have the opportunities or things were not in their favor and that's fine but please when you go out there uh, overseas Pakistani are already very very scared they live in a very safe environment but when you scare them and when they hear the stories of kidnapping for example assault on women and all those issues they happen there as well like look at our population so the whole Canada for example may be the population of only Lahore city so if we compare the crime ratio I, I don't think we would look really bad so my point is like with this much population things there's so many bad things are bound to happen but let's have our narrative positive like let's glorify those things which are really good like that there is respect for women as well I've noticed people like moving away and giving me the way to get into a bus for example I've been traveling through local uh, transportation people are leaving their lines and let me get my, my NIC kind of uh, related documents so there are things which are which happen and we don't glorify those so I would say that we should less demonize and we should kind of balance it out with good narrative as well and and again like those stories are told by our own people it's a fantastic uh, note to end uh, this uh, interview on that's it's a very inspirational story by Naila Kazi and uh, only a few persons few people among the dias diaspora are so optimistic and so positive about what they are doing and what they think of uh, Pakistan. So Naila, thank you very much. Thank this you so is, much. Uh, this is Pleasure. Insp inspirational for a lot of Pakistanis and it's a very positive message that you spoke about uh, the narratives on Pakistan and also your engagement here in this country. So good luck to your initiative and keep it up, keep up the good work and also convey the same to your people back in Canada.